Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm your reader Lorraine and guys, I am here to conduct your reading for the Twin Flame Collective. Um, so this is if you are Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, um, then whatever you get out of this reading, it will be for you. Okay, so this is about um, this reading that I'm doing for you as I've been doing in other readings is about just get, getting you um, messages from the universe, from the spirit world that will help you on your journey towards union, okay? So it's not always about just finding out about or doing readings based on what the divine masculine is doing, the karmic and, you know, soul going on that. I want to try and um, emphasize a little bit more about the impact of this situation that it's having on your lives as was well the people that surround you and the situations that you are in, in separation, but you are working your way out from them and heading towards union, okay? So I hope that you follow with me. Um, if there's anything that you resonate with in this reading, then that is beautiful. If there's anything that you don't resonate with in this reading, please do not worry about it. It's okay. You can always check out my other readings. Um, and see what other messages that will be in store for you. I do have a playlist, so you can check out the playlists and definitely see what is there. Now, as I said, it is timeless. So even if it's got readings from a couple of months ago, six months ago, whatever the case may be, you will always be able to find some kind of message in there because it's timeless. Let's get stuck in with your reading, guys. Now, um, I was picking up on an energy. Um, I tried to do a reading earlier, but it just wasn't coming out properly. So I felt that I needed to kind of rest myself more and do a little bit of a meditation in order to bring forward the messages. Now, it was said that um, what you now know or what you will soon come to know would tell you a lot about the person that you are currently dealing with. And then the next message was that because you said no, you were right. Because you said no, you were right. And the previous message was saying that whatever you learn or just learn um, will tell you a lot about the person that you are currently dealing with. Divine Feminines, I'm also picking up, I've picked up on this energy a couple of days back. Um, where it actually mentions that you need to become a little bit more masculine. You need to step in your masculinity energies a little bit more in order to help you to drive through, um, drive yourself, drive yourself, sorry, out from your toxic conditions. Okay, so for those who are currently still in your karmic cycles, with regards to what you're dealing with right now, with regards to certain people that you've got in your life and you're trying to cut them out from your life so you can move forward, Spirit's saying you need to become a little bit more masculine, okay? And protect your empathy, protect your intuition, rely on your intuition, protect your energies and, you know, really speak to your um, ancestors. But you know they're always there. Whenever you need them, they will be there. And it's funny, I heard of, I just heard up that song, oh gosh, I can't remember who sang it now. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Okay, just type, I think it's like an old 70s kind of um, song. But whenever you need me, I'll be there. So that could be for one or two of you, if that was something that an ancestor used to say to you when they were still alive. Um, or if you can imagine and resonate with this energy this that, that particular message then that will be for you all right guys let's get stuck into this reading now let's have a look and see what's going on with the energy surrounding the divine feminine and the divine masculine as they are going through their journey it's not an easy journey guys i can tell right up right off the bat this is a very strenuous time for you all and you are required to have faith right now and you are required to hold on to your situation. Um, when I say hold on to your situation, hold on to your faith during this situation that you were in. I do apologise. Okay, so hold on to your faith. Hang in there. Hang in there. Okay, don't give up. You are a warrior. You're not a victim. Okay, despite what they say about you or say to you, you know who you are. Okay, 
Spirit, let's get some cards out. What is this card in particular? Let me just pull another. Well, so we've got four things. Three things that are hidden from you. See how the three cards laid down? And the first card that is upright out of these cards is the tree, which represents wisdom. There is a change to your situation right now where you were once grounded to it. You're going to get a lot of insight into this reading. You're going to get more options. You're going to definitely, it's going to feel like an emotional roller coaster for you. But out of the chaos follows wisdom. Out of the chaos follows wisdom. So whatever it is that you have learned about, whether, you know, during this ordeal, you're going to learn a lot from it and you're going to use what it is to your advantage. I feel that these things are hidden from you. There are certain things that are hidden from you. I don't know why I said that for, but I feel that that's the message. So this card first, we have got loyalty. Now this card came out in the reverse, but I'm going to turn it up this way. Um... See what the other cards are saying. Why are these three cards in reverse? We've got 26. Now, this card came up in the upright position. I'm going to turn this down. I'm not going to turn it up. So if, it, if I pick it out, if I turn the card and it's in reverse, I'm going to keep it in reverse. This book represents secrets. Oh, okay. Excellent. I'll tell you what this is. Right off the bat, you're going to learn something about the person who you thought was a friend. The person who you thought was a friend, you're going to find out about them. This is what this, the whole afternoon or the whole morning, the whole afternoon, I tried to do this reading. And what I was picking up is that what you know or what you learn about somebody, what you find out about somebody is going to tell you a lot more about the person that you're dealing with or what you find out is going to tell you a lot more about the person that you're dealing with. So with this dog in reverse, this represents, it's in that right position, it represents loyalty. It represents trust. It represents love, adoration, support, okay? Protection. But it's in the reverse. It came out in the reverse. Now with these, the Bible card, sorry, the Bible or the book card, okay, this represents a secret. Now, 18 in Major Arcana is the moon card. Number five, I feel it's referring to the five of wands. Okay, with this five card also represents changes. The, I, the reason why I said the five of wands is because you've got the tree. Okay, and it's wood. But also, um, there are challenges. But also, the leaves also, in its foliage like this, it also represents wisdom. OK, something that you're going to learn of a very big life lesson from. This tree is big. So this situation is going to be powerful enough to change your direction that you're currently in. The next card that we've got is the mountain in reverse. So this, to me, represents a challenge that is easy to surmount. You will easily overcome this situation. It's not too difficult for you to mount um over and to just do away with it whoever this person is in this 18 card is not your friend they are not your friends they're your enemy okay let me pull a card i'm just going to pull a card from the playing cards with regards to this situation because this is quite interesting spirit please tell me about the card number five why was this card pulled Thank you so much. Please show me the card that I need. So this is for both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Thank you so much. Yeah, you are definitely walking away. This is the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Hearts. Something that basically, I feel that for some of you guys, you were in the process. You were contemplating on whether or not to um walk away from this person all right the next card that we've got is the jack of spades the knight of swords you would have done this quite quickly i feel that this is something that will quickly happen the three of spades represents the three of swords and the ace of wands in reverse represents a lost opportunity the ace of clubs is the ace of wands so i do sense that whatever's going on here it feels to me that you wanted to have something with this person 
okay? But things quickly sort of unraveled. Now, you do acknowledge this as a missed opportunity, but you're more saying this for the person because you are not going to be with them anymore. This is about betrayal and disappointment and heartbreak. This is the Three of Spades, which is the Three of Swords. And what they're trying to do, I feel, is to divert you away from this um, opportunity, the Ace of Clubs. When you said no to them, you were right in saying no. Okay? You were right to say no. In the end, um, you'll find out. You'll know exactly why. Spirit, please tell me about the number 18 card in reverse. Why is it in reverse and why is it here? We've got the Six of Cups or the Six of Hearts. We have got the Jack of um, Clubs, which would be the Knight of Wands. We do have the Two of Diamonds, which is the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Spades, which is the Ten of Swords. So right off the bat, the reason why you are kind of coming away from this energy, this is somebody that you know. This could be a friend. This could be a, um, a family member. This could even be a colleague of yours that you thought was loyal to you. But basically... Um, there was a, this energy of juggling, okay? This person is a player. That's all they are. They're not loyal. They're not showing you no love. They're just a, they're just lawless, okay? No loyalty whatsoever. I doubt very much they even know what loyalty means. I feel that for some of you guys, you will definitely find out that you were being juggled, okay? Um, that whatever they proposed to you and promised to you, they also proposed and promised to another as well behind your back. We've got the Ten of Spades, which is the Ten of Swords um, there as well. Things are going to get better, okay? As I said, it's going to be revealed to you. You will get over this. You've got the Two of Spades. It's going to give you a decision. You're going to think about this. You're also going to need to tell this person, I need time alone to think about my next move. I cannot have you within my circle. I have to put you out. That you could be actually living with somebody divine feminine or divine masculine. It could be a flatmate that you're living with. And this housemate of yours has deceived you in some kind of way. Take care of your mail. Take care of anything to do with your um, bank details or anything like that. Be very careful. Let's have a look at the 21 card, please. Spirit, please give me a card for the 21 cards. Why is it here? Wonderful. We've got the five of pentacles. This is the change. This could be to do with financial loss. But this is also about coming out from the cold, okay? And being able to change the mindset, the mentality, start to work on the, the, the current status of your finances is definitely going to be affected. This person is going to be left out in the cold. You are going to put this person out. You are going to put them out um, and leave them out in your circle, right? All right, let's get some messages. Um, just put these cards down a bit. Sorry, guys. <sighs> All right, let's go. So please tell me, get some messages for me from the higher self. This is the Cosmic Consciousness Awareness deck. Um, Ascension deck, sorry. Let's get some messages from the ancestors, from the spirit worlds, from your higher selves. We do have divine union. Yeah, this is what's going on, guys. Divine feminine and divine masculine. This is definitely what's happening here. With all of these readings that I'm doing, it's all about helping you on your journey towards divine union. Okay? You need to be aware of certain things, what's, what's going on, because it will help you to make the better decisions for yourself, following your own intuition. And whatever you pick up in this reading, I, I hope and pray with good intentions um sacred intentions in fact that it's going to help you guys to progress up the ladder because you are definitely ascending the next card that we've got for you the next message is your neutrality keep yourself balanced keep your energies in check and also neutrality is this kind of like zero point of zero or zero point on being shown or told where you are in perfect balance within your own feminine and masculine energies. So with that being said, remember what I said to you with regards to you, divine feminine, that sometimes you may need to be a little bit more 
um, masculine in terms of getting out of, from your situation. But you know deep down inside that you are all about the balance, okay? This is how I feel that it's like saying that it's about manipulating in a good way the energies. It's a good way of coming out from your comfort zone in order to really gain more clarity and power within yourself, divine power, really, um, so that it will help you to navigate your way through this you know, sea of unknown, the, you know, the ocean of unknown, because you don't know what's going on around you, but you need to be, if it's dark, you don't know what's going on, you can't see, you need to be able to feel your way around, okay, somebody is really trying to play with your emotions right now, if you can understand um, what I just said there, and if whoever it is that you're thinking about that you've got doubts about, you need to kind of look into that energy a little bit more. Look into the connection between you and them. I'm just going to pull another two cards for you. I need to pull another two cards. Bear with me. Next card we've got is discernment. You see what I'm saying? You need to be very careful about who you are vibing with, guys. Be very careful. You need to be able to look at all kinds of angles. Hear what they say, feel what they say, listen to what they say. And in, in you know, during that time of just before you go to bed or whatever the case may be, think about it. If there's anything that they're going to try to propose to you and promise to you, does it sound good? Is it too good to be true? Is it wholly provoked rubbish? Okay, next card for you is future creating. You do not want to have this ability to be hindered in any kind of way. But if you don't pay attention to what's going on here, this will get affected. Your future creating will get affected. Whatever you're putting out there into the universe in this precise moment in time, remember it's all about living in the moment, but you are also future creating. Because if you want to have a good future, you've got to know where to start. You've got to know how to build it. It's not going to come to you straight away. Manifesting is involved and also hard work and action follows so that you can get towards success and abundance, okay? So, yeah, it's just giving me some vibes. Let's see. Okay, let's get out the tarot. Okay, I'm going to pull. This is the light sea. It's tarot. Spirit, please, might I have some cards for the twin flame couple with regards to their situation. Okay, I'm going to take it. Yep. We've got the Nine of Cups. This is about manifesting. Make sure that you are in the right alignment so that you can manifest for what it is that you want. We have got the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel that before things come to, come towards you, you need to make sure that you are in perfect alignment first. Divine timing and alignment with the universe. We do have the Strength card in reverse. If you are not aligned properly um, within yourself so that you can manifest, then it's going to cause a little bit of a delay for you with regards to manifesting, okay? Remember, your thoughts become things, what you think you become. So you really have to be in this energy of, I already have it. I am bountiful. I am successful. Rather than saying, oh, I wish I had this or, oh, blast, I don't have that. We don't do lack here in this channel. The only lack that we do is if you get furniture from the lack series from Ikea. OK, and if you don't know what I mean by that, just go and Google it. L-A-C-K. OK, that's the only thing that we do. But anything to do with anything to do with, you know, becoming victimized by yourself, by your words. Don't become a victim of your negative words. Or in fact, don't say anything at all. If you're not going to say anything nice and beautiful about yourself, then stay silent. All right. Because it does affect you in the long run. Trust me, it does. If you don't have money, don't say that you don't have money. Say that I am in the process of making, getting my finances. Put an end to um, any kind of non-committal energies, situations that you're involved in. Remember, I said to you with regards to somebody who's going to be promising things to you or proposing things to you. You're gonna, it's going to put an end to it. Whatever this is, it's going to be putting an end to. The page of ones is about new offers coming in. New offers that are coming in that are going to make you feel more energised and full of gratitude, okay? A bit of a risk taker here, but if you play your cards right, you will be successful. And next card I've got for you guys. Okay. 
is let's see show me the card that i need please for it ace of wands there you go and behind this ace of wands i feel another card here is the eight of swords you're not going to be stuck anymore whatever opportunity that you're going to get coming your way because this is newness it's coming with a good energy and it will help you to get unstuck. You are going to be financially unstuck and will be able to think more better and more clearly for yourself. I'm sensing that you would definitely, um, I'm hearing flagging behind with your creativity. Whatever you were trying to manifest, it wasn't really happening because of this energy of um, not being able to kind of get out from this headspace. All right. Um, dealing with a particular person that you thought was a friend. If you are holding out for this person, you are holding out on yourself. You are allowing opportunities to pass you by. And that we cannot have. Okay? We can't have that. This person is no good for you. Remember what I said about the um, Ace of Wands in reverse? Because this person is going to disappoint you. They're not going to be able to fulfill their promise or fulfill their proposition towards you. So this is where you need to be able to gain clarity, gain the knowledge, gain the wisdom and gain the life experience. Cut this person off because remember, we've got the Ten of Swords there and the Three of Swords and then be able to allow new energies to come through for you, which is. And if you notice as well, this is what you want. You see how the Nine of Cups is with the Page of Wands. What you're manifesting is going to come towards you. You're trying to make sure that you are in the right alignment. And by doing so, you're going to get that opportunity coming towards you. Okay? It's like a mirroring effect. You're, you're, like Whoever's coming towards you is feeling that kind of same energy as well. They're going to pick up on your frequency. I'm going to cut the deck for you to get the overall energy. And then I'm going to give you the bottom of the deck. So, bear with me, guys. This is going to be your overall energy. The Page of Cups in reverse. I told you about this person who claims to be a friend, claims to give you an opportunity, but be careful, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have got the hanged man in the upright position. So this is definitely about delays and also that you need to look at things from a much more higher circle perspective. When you do, you become more enlightened and illuminated. So therefore, you'll be able to make that um, rational decision to stay away from this energy. Let me just see what's happening. Why was the... Let me just get something on here. Tell me about the death card and the hierophant. Tell me about the death card and the hierophant. Very, very much, yeah, very, very much um, trying to hold back. This person wasn't mature enough. With the Page of Cups, this is all about immaturity as well. There wasn't in this energy of, of abundance or not even thinking abundantly to try and give you any kind of offers. They cannot offer you anything that you definitely can offer yourself. And you can offer yourself a whole lot more. This person is not capable. You've got the Knight of Materials in reverse and you've got the Queen of Materials in reverse, which is both the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And this is coming from a page, a, like, literally somebody who ain't got the life experience. It could be an, a big age difference or the fact that they're just mentally are just not there. They're, they're just not there. You've got too much going for you, darlings. They're not committed enough. This is why the, the um, hermit card is in reverse. Okay? Spirit's telling you, pull back, pull back, pull back. Let me just finish off this reading with a sacred destiny card. Spirit, please may have four cards for the collective, divine feminine and divine masculine as they are going on their journey towards union and abundance. We have got pleasure. This is what awaits you. I feel that when you both get there, because you, look, you're, you're on your way towards there anyway, okay? Uh, remember what I said about the darkness that's around you, but then when you get to where you need to be, you become more enlightened and, and obviously just in that energy of bliss. It's going to be pleasurable for you, but you need to just hang in there with this journey. Hang in there, guys. Next card that I got. Simplicity. Keep things simple. 
whatever you say, like from now until the ending of the year, keep it simple, keep it moving. Don't, if you, if there's, it's like, what, what is it saying? Like if you, if somebody asks you something, asks you a question, you just have to say either yes or no, or you just keep it as simple as you possibly can. You don't need to go into so much detail with regards to why you are declining. I feel that this is a, a um, like, it's like people are going to be, as I said, people are coming towards you all the time. People are coming towards you because of your light, because of who you are. But this is also about, where it says about the simplicity, keep it where you're just in this pureness. Um, keep it very simple for yourself. I'm picking up on the simple word. Um, so that when if anybody comes to you with anything that it just doesn't feel right or they want to know what you're doing because you're going to get a lot of people asking you so many questions. Keep it simple. Keep it just very short, sweet and direct. Keep it moving. You are protected by your angels in this moment in time as well. Whenever you see a white feather, this is for you to say that you are protected. Keep it simple. Have a beautiful, happy life. Okay? Uncluttered as well. I'm hearing the word uncluttered. Okay, next card that I've got for you. So maybe you guys need to declutter as well. We do have forgiveness and we do have purification. So again, with this cleansing energy, keeping things simple, the moment that you clear out a lot, a lot of clutter from your life, it allows the good energies to flow through. And I feel with this forgiveness, it becomes a healing energy for you as well. This to me reminds me of Major Arcana, the Sun card. So I'm going to take these two together as a single card and I'll just pull one more card for you guys. truth whatever you find out about this person the truth is going to hurt you it's going to hurt you but the truth is going to heal you as well all right so we so guys if you can see how my card is chewed up i didn't realize that my card was on the floor and one of my cats actually got to it so yeah those are actually cat cat marks cat bite marks or feline bite marks <laughs> Oh my God. But yeah, no matter how many times you try to dig into the truth, the truth is still the truth and it will always be there. All right. It's always going to protect you. It's always going to shame others and expose others for what they are. No matter what anybody does to try and bend the truth, you can't do it because it will eventually come back in your face. Okay. You're going to find something out about somebody and it's going to really make you move. It's going to be, this feels very life changing. This major cycle feels like it's life changing. And we've got the purity card. Again, with this energy of discernment, be careful, be, be aware, be alert. Some things that people try to cover over with, um, you know, keeping it all innocent. Sometimes it isn't as innocent as it seems as well, okay? So, guys, this is what I've got for you. I'm going to leave it here. I don't have anything else to say about this reading right now, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. You know your journey. You know where you're going. You know who you want to be with. You know who you are. So this is really about helping you to just make certain decisions for yourself and to just keep you moving. All right. Thanks guys so much for watching this reading. Please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell below the screen so that way I'll be able to send you the um, notifications or YouTube rather will send you the notifications of when I've uploaded new videos for you all to watch. Okay. Thank you again. Please do take care of yourselves. Have a very blessed day. And I'll be back with another reading. Take care and peace out.